Hello, and welcome to a special edition of Elevator Pitch Series for the Radiographer. I am Michael. In the special edition videos, we go outside the regular curriculum while keeping you informed of current trends and developments in the field of medical imaging. In this video we learn about the disease tuberculosis and how it is combated through technology like CAD for TB, which is short for Computer Aided Detection for Tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is caused by the bacteria, Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Even though it can affect different organs, it most often affects the lungs. Tuberculosis spreads from person to person through air droplets. As seen on the diagram, some of the bacteria causing tuberculosis is expelled when an infected person coughs, sneezes, or spits. These air droplets containing the bacteria can get inhaled by someone nearby, leading to infection. When a person gets infected with tuberculosis, either of two things can happen. Most of the time, the infection is a latent one. This means that even though the bacteria is in the lungs, it stays in an inactive form. It does not grow and cannot cause any of the known signs and symptoms of tuberculosis. This latent form of tuberculosis is also unable to spread to other people. However, a latent tuberculosis infection can advance to the active form in future. On the other hand, an active tuberculosis infection occurs. Mycobacterium tuberculosis in its active state grows and causes the known signs and symptoms of tuberculosis. It is also in this form that it spreads from person to person. If an active form of tuberculosis is left untreated, it can cause death. Because of the body's immune system, most tuberculosis infections are the latent type, there is only a 15% chance that an active tuberculosis infection would occur. However, in people with compromised immune systems, the chances of experiencing active tuberculosis are much higher. This group of people includes people living with HIV, diabetics, people who use tobacco, and people suffering from malnutrition. When a person is sick due to an active tuberculosis, the following signs and symptoms are manifested. Prolonged coughing, which occasionally contains blood, chest pain, night sweats, unintentional weight loss, fever, extreme fatigue, and a loss of appetite. These symptoms get worse over time, leading to death if left untreated. In fact, according to the WHO Global Report on Tuberculosis, 1.5 million people worldwide died from tuberculosis in 2018 alone. This is definitely scary. We should however point out that not only is tuberculosis preventable, it is also curable. The key to preventing death due to tuberculosis is early detection and treatment. Methods of diagnosing tuberculosis have evolved over the years, with each method having its fair share of advantages and disadvantages. The first we'd be looking at is the tuberculosis skin test, also known as the Mantux tuberculin skin test. In this, a small amount of fluid called tuberculin is injected into the skin of the forearm. The injected area is checked two to three days later for a swelling, which is measured. The size of this swelling determines whether or not the patient is infected with tuberculosis. Next is the tuberculosis blood test in which a sample of the patient's blood is collected and tested in the laboratory for the presence of Mycobacterium tuberculosis. These two methods have certain major problems. First, they are not completely accurate, with the skin test notorious for producing false positives in patients with BCG vaccination. Secondly, they do not tell if the tuberculosis is latent or active. Also, they do not tell if the tuberculosis present is an antibiotic-resistant strain. That takes us to the sputum test. When a person tests positive to a skin or blood tuberculosis test, he or she can be sent for a sputum test to find out if it is an active or latent infection. Sputum is the thick fluid produced when a person coughs. It is collected and sent to a laboratory where it is analyzed through staining or culturing. While this method is still in use, especially in developing countries, it only has a sensitivity rate of 50%. This means that half of the time, it is wrong. Like the skin and blood tests, it also does not tell if the strain of tuberculosis present is antibiotic resistant or not. These problems of the conventional sputum test are solved by the expert MTBRIF test, commonly known as gene expert. Instead of microscopy, this sophisticated testing method utilizes molecular biology to accurately detect tuberculosis in the sputum of the patient in less than two hours. It also detects if the infection is antibiotic resistant, in which case alternative drugs are prescribed as the infection will not respond to antibiotics. However, at the price of about $60,000 for the equipment, GeneXpert is an expensive option, which requires an uninterrupted power supply. 
These problems make it difficult to acquire and use in low- and middle-income countries. In these countries, the great demand of tuberculosis tests to be carried out is matched by little availability of gene expert testing facilities. This is where radiography comes in. Even though radiography is not a standard tool for diagnosing or confirming tuberculosis, it can be used to safely rule it out. This is because pulmonary tuberculosis produces certain distinct patterns on a chest radiograph. Examples of these patterns include focal areas of lung opacification called the GANS focus, enlargement of the lymph nodes in the hilum and mediastinum known as lymphadenopathy, formation of many tiny nodules in the lungs, known as the miliary tuberculosis pattern, and the formation of cavitation in the upper lobes or apices of the lungs. In countries with limited availability of equipment like Gene Expert, the absence of these patterns in a patient's chest X-ray can be used to rule out an active tuberculosis infection, preventing the need for further testing with Gene Expert. This allows Gene Expert to be reserved for only patients with tuberculosis patterns on their chest X-rays. This conserves the limited availability of Gene Expert tests, even in highly populated areas that need mass testing. However, accurately detecting tuberculosis patterns on a chest X-ray requires expertise. Most of the time, this expertise is not available for mass screening in highly populated areas. This is where CAD for TB comes in. Computer-aided detection for tuberculosis is a software developed by healthcare innovation company, Delft Imaging. The system is trained through deep learning which is basically an artificial intelligence technique that teaches computers to learn from examples. In CAD for TB, the system has been trained with thousands of healthy and diseased chest X-rays. This along with expert input from lung specialists enables the software to accurately detect tuberculosis patterns. A digital X-ray unit can be connected to the detection software by two methods. For areas with internet access, the X-ray unit is connected to the cloud-based CAD for TB server. For areas without internet access, the unit is connected to an on-site box computer which contains an offline version of the software. Because this technology is targeted at people who have no access to hospitals or other healthcare facilities that can adequately screen for tuberculosis, there is a need to make the technology mobile. If the community can't go to the clinic, let the clinic come to the community. The CAD for TB service is made mobile by a truck with three important compartments. First being the X-ray section, where a mobile digital X-ray machine is used to acquire chest X-rays of the patient. Second is the section where the acquired chest X-ray is analyzed and interpreted by the CAD for TB software. And there's the laboratory section, which is equipped with gene expert equipment for performing further testing in the patients who need this further testing. This truck is called the Wellness on Wheels truck, or WOW truck for short. And through an array of staff, radiographers inclusive, tuberculosis detection is brought to communities and regions that really need it. When a chest X-ray image is acquired, it is analyzed within 30 seconds by the on-site or cloud-based CAD for TB software. A heat map of the image outlining abnormalities is produced. A score of between 0 to 100 is also generated by the software. A low score means that tuberculosis can be ruled out. On the other hand, a score above a certain level indicates a great likelihood of active tuberculosis. It is only patients with scores in this higher range that require further testing with Gene Expert to completely confirm or rule out tuberculosis. This of course has tremendous impact on regions that have limited availability of sophisticated testing methods. For example, in a region with Gene Expert facility that can perform only four tests per day, screening 20 people for active tuberculosis will take five days. But, if chest X-rays using computer-aided detection for tuberculosis are performed first, tuberculosis can be ruled out in persons with low scores. In this example, only three people have scores high enough to suspect tuberculosis. Only these three would require Gene Expert. Even though this region can perform only four Gene Expert tests each day, through this method, we are able to test all 20 people for tuberculosis in one day. By making diagnosis quicker and less expensive, treatment is made more effective. That concludes this special edition on Elevator Pitch Series for the Radiographer. We look forward to your questions and comments in the comments section or via email. If you loved this video, be sure to subscribe and share with your colleagues. Until next time, do enjoy the learning process, take care and stay safe.